organization. Sure. Uh, thank you, Eli. Uh, I'm Mahmoud. It is a pleasure to be your host in this event. Uh, our next panelist is uh, Director of Think Tank and Operations for Austrian Startups, Manuel. Uh, Manuel, it's great to have you. Uh, until Manuel connects uh, as a panelist, just to let you know that uh, Austria had a great year, increased five uh, spots and it is ranked 23rd globally. Hi, Manuel. Hi there. Thanks for the invitation. Thank you. Thank you for presenting. Um, Here is yours. Yeah, thanks a lot. First of all, for, for the great report. Um, I think it's always um, highly important for informed decision making. And yeah, I'm more than happy to share some insights with you today about the Austrian startup ecosystem. First of all, hello world. Um, I'm Manu. I'm the director of Think Tank and the COO of Austrian startups. And as I mentioned, I'm here today to share some insights about Startup Hub Austria. But for those who still confuse Austria with Australia, we do not have any kangaroos over here. We have Vienna. Vienna, the world's most livable city, voted for eight times in a row. I mean, honestly, just look at the pictures at this one. At this one, and if you don't like the city of Vienna, you could even enjoy a view like that. And despite all this, people in Austria are grumpy. They are so grumpy, we even have an own name for them. We call them Raunzer. So we really have a Raunzer culture here. People in Austria are never satisfied by anything. They find little mistakes, little problems here and there. And most importantly, people in Austria are very impatient. So waiting for other people to actually come and fix your problem ain't gonna happen. They're gonna fix it themselves, thus providing the ideal foundation for really a vibrating startup ecosystem. In fact, data of our very own Austrian Startup Monitor show that the Austrian grumpiness led to almost 3,000 startups in Austria, with people up here in Vienna being specifically grumpy. So if you consider changing or solving a problem here in Austria, you're definitely not alone. In fact, the grumpiness in Austria has not only led to 3,000 startups, almost half of those startups is dedicated their time or dedicating their time to social and um, sustainability problems. So we can really say that Austria is therefore a real hub for green tech technology and social tech. Let's have a closer look at the demographics of our grumpiness. Founders in Austria are relatively low. One third of them is even below 30. Additionally, more than half of the startups not only has international employees, but is also expecting growth of about more than 100% within the next 12 months. So we are young, we are international, and we are growing fast. Come join us. This brings me to my final question. How is Grumpy Action funded? Our data show that 50% of the startups received national public funding, while 17% relied on EU funding. So we could really argue and say that if you're grumpy about a problem, the state will jump in and help you out with funding. So what about you? Are you grumpy? Scan my QR code. This leads me, or this leads you to my LinkedIn. We get in touch and we'll fix out the details. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you, Manu. Uh, it was great to have you. 